Hey guys, it's Hoops to be back with another Bee Swarm Simulator video. Today it's all about Beesmas. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Let me know if you can hear me in the chat, guys. Just make sure I'm doing a technical check first. How was everyone's Christmas? Yes, everyone's Christmas. So hopefully there were amazing gifts given out, guys. We almost got Beesmas on time, but not quite. But anyway, we still got the gift of Beesmas, guys. That is amazing. Last Beesmas I was here. Yeah, were you? Well, I was here too. And that was the last update. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'm in a server here. This is actually Rosie's server. We're going to do some puff shrooms. Yeah, we're going to do some puff shrooms today. And uh, we're also going to probably do some snow bear help. I don't know if we'll get to do some stick bug, but let's just see how we go. Anyway, we've got sweet, cute seal on here at the moment. Haiku. We've got uh, Tiger Fang. Uh, we've got Hey, yeah, A O A R A V, <laughs> Miss Rosie B, and Hoops the B. So I'm going to get uh, Miss Rosie B to start her puff shrooms, and then she'll make some space. And guys, if you can really help today, there's obviously a lot of people want to try to get like a level 50 puff shroom or something like that, or get on the live stream. So could you just make sure that once you've had your turn, uh, you leave the server so Ms. Rosie B can actually get things sorted out. Now, if you actually want to get uh, into the server, you need to talk to Ms. Rosie B. She is going to uh, let you friend her, and then she's going to accept people into her server, and then you'll be able to join. So, yeah, everybody's here at the moment ready to go. So, guys, well, we probably already, I've already got a planter, I think, so we're just going to get started on the stream uh, hey Hoops, recently got in BBS a couple of days ago and have been loving your channel already in 30 beats. Whoa, bro. Uh, tra tracks, mpl. <laughs> uh, yeah, excellent. 30 beats, good job. If you actually watch one of my videos, I can pretty much get 30 bees in literally the first day. So yeah, that is, that is the right way to do it, guys. Don't be mucking around. You should have 35 bees in about two days, especially if we get the Honey Day event code. Uh, I may make a video on that as well, guys. And then you're sweet. Like, after 35 bees, do whatever you want, but get there as quick as you can. This is a really good selfie. If all these bees weren't in the way, it's crazy bee time, guys. Now, who's got buoyant bee? I've got a buoyant bee already. I don't have, I didn't put the uh, precise bee into the um, hive because, well, it's red and I'm a blue. And I don't want to basically cloud things up. I need to get some more buoyant bees as well. All right, let's get into this, guys. Let's get into this. So basically what's going to happen is, well, I'm going to complete a few things for my quest. So I guess everyone else does too. So let's have a look. I'm at quality cousin time. Oh, I'm going to complete the six polar bear quests. And then I'm done, I think. Uh, let's go here. So what do we got? Stick buck nymphs. We got to get a level 15 push room for that, right? And we need an epic one in the sunflower. So that's great. Uh, wow, look at this. Everybody's like been loading up inside the this field. Actually, what? We, ooh, okay, we actually need these ones. We need ticket ones. We've got a ticket one here. It's a little bit small, but this one's mine. So if you've got a ticket planter, have a chat to Ms. Rosie B and maybe she can get you into the server and we can do it on a live stream. Now, what else did I... I'm pretty sure... Oh, hang on. Where's the other one? Riley B needs to get uh, five rares in rose and mushroom. And I've got to get uh, another two in a blue flower so I can activate the snow machine. So this is all pretty good, guys. Okay, so we're going to get started. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Hopefully, we get one after another here. This will be good viewing then. And uh, we can smash these out. We can talk... And, and I can re-chat along the way. So I'm going to drop a super smoothie. Because the hot tip here, guys, you've got to farm around the actual mushroom. And if you don't drop your sprinkler and stuff like that, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to drop a super smoothie just to help things along the way. And we want things to happen rather quickly. And i got 58 anyway. So let's go. It's time to do some puff shrooms. So let's get that sprinkler in. And boom, look at those tickets, guys, from the puff shroom. And that is amazing. We're already into the blue field. This is great because this is where my speciality is. My hive is really set up for blue, so that's great. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so yeah, that is the only problem with these things. Oh, that's great. When they do multiple spawns, that is amazing because you know that you're going to be able to get some stuff in the blue and it's going to stay there. When it's like a one, it just goes way too quickly. So what we're really looking for here is to get these up to like a level 10, 11, and then you've got a chance of getting closer to 15. I got a 14 before. Uh, that was good, but 14's not enough. So let's get in there. Hopefully we're going to be all sort of farming the same ones once we start getting some decent sizes coming up. And uh, I kind of want to stay in this area if I can because 
Well, I've got blues. And it looks like maybe I just got uh, a new subscriber. Oh, it was Super Chat. Gregor, thank you very much for two pound. Appreciate that. Uh, yes, we are playing today. Oh, what's that in there? No, no, I thought it was a uh, rare already, but it's those uh, planters. Let's get into the blue field here because I'm going to be able to get these done pretty quickly, guys. And, uh, you know, the benefit of getting on stream is that you've got to get a bunch of people helping uh, for the same cause because I try to do some of these things as solo. It does not work. It does not work. It's too hard. Time you get there, they've run out. So let's get back into here. We're going to spend some good time up here, which is great. And uh, the super smooth is really helping, guys. All right, let's get into the chat. Hey, hey, could I join? Okay, and if you didn't know the 10th B Big Quest, it gives you another festive player. To oh, wow, that is OP. That is great news. So it's almost done. And uh, I just want to get some of these done as well. Let's get these out of the way, and we'll get some more of these push rooms. Uh, what's the timing on these now? Can't even tell when we're doing them so quickly. Uh, we need a big one. We need to get... Oh, there's a rare. Oh, there's a rare. Okay, so level 8 rares. Okay, that's pretty good. Level 8 rares, not bad at all. So we must be getting close. Sevens over here, sixes. So we must actually be getting close to getting a decent uh, level. Level 6. And uh, I think I need to get my sprinkler here. All right, so we got level five. Okay, so what was the other one over there then? Okay, we've got a, a level eight over here. Let's get that one done. And uh, what have we got over the other side? Level eight over there as well. So we're doing pretty well, guys. Uh, yeah, the puff rooms are interesting. I mean, it gives you something else to do for, on the server, which is great. I mean, I know I did bag them a little bit, guys. But, you know, as you can see, it gets pretty laggy. We did actually have a bunch of people on earlier. And, wow, it was super laggy, guys. But... Hey, you know, not everybody plays with six people and a bunch of people on their hives. Uh, oh, well, thank you for the super chat. Uh, bite size shrimp, uh, Canadian $2. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go into help. Oh, hi, Mary Beesmus. Can I join somehow? Uh, yeah, Miss Rosie B will get you sorted, guys. Uh, yeah, have a chat to Miss Rosie B. Hopefully, uh, you'll have to give her your username and she can add you as a friend or you add her one of the two. Let's get over here. Uh, level nine. Okay, we're still not... We got one minute and forty. This is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good. I'm gonna be honest here. Normally, you'd want to be going for like a level ten or something by now. Let's see if we could just clear some of these out, and maybe we'll get lucky. And a werewolf has has arrived. So a level one. I don't like how they go back to a low level again. So what do we got over here? Level thirteens. Yeah, that's great. Level threes. So there's probably like some OP ones. There's probably like an epic down there or something silly like that. Uh, level three. That's great. Wow. This is. Look at this. I'm not even picking up all these tokens, guys. It just happens way too quickly. Okay. The super smoothie does really does help. So let's get that one done. Those done. That's real quick. That's quick. But no a level uh, 15s. I don't know whether it's actually broken. Has anyone done a level 15? Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you could done your level 15 push room. Because we haven't seen many. We got to, like, level 14, and we just ran out of time. So these are all pretty low-level stuff as well. Uh, will you do this again? Yes, I will do this again. I'm going to try to do live streams every day if I can manage it. And I'm going to help with uh, snow bears and things like that as well, guys. So... Uh, yeah, look, I'm not OP. I'm not going to be at help with like a level 20 or anything like that. But uh, this is just insane, the amount of tokens. Guys, have you noticed? Did you see my video? I mean, like, seriously, I've got like well over 50 uh, <laughs> gingerbread in the first day. I mean, this is insane. I know some of them came from the uh, gifts as well. But wow, guys, it's just ridiculous. I even spent a bunch as well. So like crazy times, guys. Crazy times is Never a better time to play this game. And it's gone. So, well, there we go. Well, I don't know how far we got, guys. We didn't even see like 11 to 10 or 11 or something. So that was rubbish. Uh, let's just go back to the chat. The push room stays in the same field. It has a chance to go down a level. So if it moves to a different field, it's better to follow it. Oh, okay. Well, that's a hot tip. Lego Bricks, uh, Lego Bricks King oh, says, question for hoops. Should I get pedal one first or Coco Canister? Uh, well, actually, if you could if you could do both exactly at the same time, I would go the Coco Canister. That's actually going to give you some white boosts, and it really does help with capacity. Now, the Pedal Wand is great, guys. If you're going to do AFK, you definitely want to get the Pedal Wand. But, uh, yeah, let's just see if we've got another person here. Let's just buy it here. Let's harvest this. The blue... Oh, wow, someone's already started, guys. 
somebody's already said, oh, did I just do that? Oh, okay, because I've just harvested my planter. So I think we're on again, guys. I think we are on again. Oh, that's a good one. So we got off to a good start, I think. So let's get over here, and then we'll follow the directions about moving to a different field. And we'll see if that actually does help us a lot. But, uh, yeah, we want to we wanna get, like, a higher level. So let's see if we can get this. We'll follow this one around. Uh, where did it go? It's heading over here. So let's see if it went up to a level. Well, that was quick. Where did that go now? Seriously? It's in the sky. All right. <laughs> Level sixes. I don't think it actually did go up, but let's just uh, maybe we'll go down to a different level and we'll see if that actually does help as well. What do we got over here? We've got a rare, but that's a level five, so that's not really going to help me at all or anyone. I don't think we have that for any quests. Let's see if we've got some down here. All right, so yeah, level eight. Okay, so that is true. So basically, it looks like you do have to get across to another field, uh, and that's probably where the problem is, is because I've been kind of staying in the same field multiple times yeah i see it goes down a level right oh there's the hot tip wow we're getting some great tips today guys and i'm not even coming up with them look at that level eight again okay so we try to follow this one around a little bit and uh see if it moves across to another field and then we might be okay uh hoops if you're trying to get level 50 just follow one push room okay yeah well i'm trying to follow this one around level nine oh rose oh great this is great, guys. We've got to get this one. I'll wait for everyone to arrive. Okay, that's done. And I think it's heading over this direction now. Where's it going to go? It's in here somewhere. 11. Okay, well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, yes, how can we... Who do we join? Yes, ask Miss Rosie B, guys. Okay, we've got to follow this, guys. I've got to follow this. Level 11. This is, this is a very good tip. <laughs> okay, we're having a little bit of trouble here. This one is having a little bit of trouble. I don't know what's happened. Uh, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this to happen. Maybe I need to throw some jelly beans down, get everyone excited with jelly beans. Uh, that might help us a little bit as well. All right, here we go. There we go. So which way did it go? It's, it's going over this way. Let's get this one. Hopefully this is the one that turns into something amazing. Level 13. Okay, well, now we're talking. All right, now we are talking, guys. 13, we've got 1.3 minutes to go. So this is good news. Wow, that is the best tip ever. I can't remember who actually said that. If they could just repeat themselves, and I'll give them a little shout out. Because, yeah, we've been playing, because we've been trying to get them from one field, and it uh, hasn't really helped much. Let's get those jelly beans. That'll help. Make sure that's down. 1 minute 13. Okay, well, let's just watch where it goes. We're try Everyone's trying to spam everything here. We're just trying to get this going. Wow, it's big. All right, so back to the questions. Hoops, if I'm Puff Room Spirits, uh, half of your pop-up will either stay at the same. What the? If the Puff Room splits, half will pop, will stay at the same level or go down because it splits. Right, okay. Well, we, we're going to have trouble here because we're not getting this one done. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get a bit of concentration here. All right, 40 seconds. I'm not sure we're going to have enough. Wherever it goes... I don't think it's going to be enough. Level 15. Okay, great, guys, great. Spam it. Go, four, five. Let's get stuff done here. Put a dip it down. We got, well, we got one minute 19. We should be able to get this done, guys. Well, that is a very good tip. Well, I did not know. See, I haven't really played with these. Everyone's got jelly beans everywhere. We still got to get this done, though. That's still a lot to get done. So let's see, guys. I've still got a super smoothie in action here, which has definitely helped a lot. And uh, we're just trying to get this. There it is, guys. We got it. We got the level 15. Wow, that is pretty impressive, guys. That is pretty impressive. So we got level 15. Everyone's going to be pretty happy. We might be able to get this one back to another level 15 in another field. Now, there's nothing over here. Uh, yeah, we got a level 11 over here, guys, but I need to get an epic. Does anyone know how to get an epic? I think the puffs level 6 plus have a chance to spawn a rare puff, and 11 might true... Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. So we might be able to get an epic if you have a level 11. Go to another field, maybe. Let's see if this actually is true, but I don't think we're going to be able to get this one done anyway. So, okay, well, should I, should I get the Windy Bee or the Pedal 1 first hoops? Uh, you probably won't get the Windy Bee first, okay? That's the hot tip. Uh, you need to donate a lot of stuff to the Wind Shrine and get lots of favor. And that's broken at the moment, apparently, since the update. So definitely get the Petal Wand 
Try to donate as much stuff as you can. And the hot tip is diamond eggs, guys. If you could do diamond eggs, then, well, that is actually going to help you get a lot of favor in the wind shrine. And then you want to go and donate your uh, cloud vials, and then that's your chance. But look, just do the pedal one first. And, uh, you know, then, then you definitely want to do the Windy B second. I wouldn't do the pedal belt next. I would definitely do Windy B and get serious about donating. So what do we got here, guys? Now, uh, Ms. Rosie B, maybe you can move some other people to a server. Uh, please let me do it. Let, maybe I'll do some snow bears or something. Uh, Low-level snow bears, because I don't want to go and change my mask, because that is a real pain. Uh, hoops, look, look at the leaderboard. Someone made over 200 trillion in a boost. Really? Seriously? Wow. Okay, I'll just check that out, because it is insane. Okay, Skyfrost80... Yeah, 200, yeah. Interesting, isn't it, guys? Because we don't really have codes yet at the moment. So I wonder if he's, like, moving up the list here. That is a lot. I mean, guys, that is a lot. Remember, someone said to me the other day, well, remember when we got a code because Mr. Mr. Mokihito was, like, 100,000 or 100 trillion? Spiderfield. Uh, and, you know, we're going to get 100 trillion just to get the plenty of planter, plenty planter or whatever it's called. Oh, I think I missed out. All right, guys, so that is it. So, Ms. Rosie B, if you want to cycle a few people, that would be great. And uh, that way we could get some more people and we could do some more puff shrooms, maybe. And, well, now we know what to do, guys. This is going to be pretty easy, okay? I've still got a little bit of super smoothie action, so that really helps as well. Uh, let's see, guys. Let's see what's happening here. Uh, if you read Shy B's stats, it shows that there is a passive about planters that makes it possibly grow faster, it said. Yeah, that's right. Actually, good point. But that's uh, for planters. I don't think that's gonna really going to help for the mushrooms. I actually uh, planted, I don't think it was a candy. Which one did I do? I think, it, no, it was the tacky one. I planted the tacky one. I think that's supposed to be eight hours. And uh, because of whatever, and I don't have a shy bee, uh, it was actually growing pretty quickly. I think I managed to grow it in about less than two hours. So you want to just be AFKing in the field, guys. If you're not AFKing right now, if you've got a spare PC or you can leave your PC on at night time, that is the best way to play this game. All right? There's no doubt about it, guys. That is the way to play this game is to basically just play it AFK. Now, you can macro, guys, if that's what your thing is, sure. But I just turn it on at night time and then I play usually during the day or just try to get some stuff done. So that helps as well. All right, level seven. This is well, this is good. We're on a good run here. Uh, so, oh, Wesley. Uh, yeah, thanks for the super chat. How can I get a swirl wax very quickly without puffs? Uh, swirl wax. Yeah, good point. I'm, I'm guessing that it's actually going to be coming from the um, Riley B's candles. So I'm, I haven't got there yet. I'm not really sure, though. You probably just have to craft it. If you really want it quickly, just go craft it. I mean, I haven't even started crafting yet, guys. I haven't even started crafting. We're going to level nine over here. Let me just be focused a little bit or else we're going to be in a bit of trouble here. So, yeah, I would just say craft it. But uh, get the Riley B's um, candle day thing or whatever it's called. It's getting over to here. Is it here? Still going? Yeah, up in there. Uh, yeah, wow, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, you want to get that um, Riley Bees done because last year we got waxes all the time. Now, this year we've got better waxes to use, so I'm, su I'm going to suggest that we're going to get some of those instead. So that'll be pretty good. Let me drop some of these je uh, jelly beans and see if we can get people actually farming this pretty well. Uh, yeah, so that is it. Can you make a video on the Riley Bucko stick bug quests? They are really hard. Uh, yeah, well, that's kind of what this is. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get these puff shrooms done. This is probably the hardest bit. But uh, look, I'm trying to get to uh, not hoops. And uh, not hoops is... Oh, where did that... There we go. I think it's all trying to confuse us. Level 7. That's not what we want. We have like a level 11 here somewhere. Uh, okay. It's splitting. Level 10. Might just quickly do this while we're here. Uh, so, yeah, basically those quests are really requiring these puff shrooms. And uh, this is kind of what you've got to do. It looks like you just got to follow the same one. You need to be, like, buffed up as well, guys. You can't do this if you're, like, just mucking around. You really need to give yourself a super smoothie or some of the other buffs that will actually help as well. So uh, definitely use your jelly beans. 
Let's just uh, clear this one out as well. I think we've lost the train of thought here, guys. Uh, we did have a like a level 11. It's dropped down to like a level 10, so that's not great. And now it's in the same field. So do I need a this one? Maybe I need a rare in here. I can't remember. I think I need... Oh, it was a blue flower field. Yep, that's great. I'm trying to get uh, this quest finished, but it's actually going to be using this... Yeah, so let me have a quick look and see what we need. Blue flower, yeah. So there we go, guys. Uh, so, the, yeah, the Bucko Bee Snow Machine. Uh, yeah, the pollen is pretty easy. But, yeah, getting these puff shrooms to get in the right fields is a little bit difficult, especially if you try to get a rare. Uh, what else have we got to do? Yeah, the, the refreshing nectar and planters. There's actually a guide on the Discord, and I'm probably going to do a video about the planters because I'm not sure if anyone's done that. But it tells you what the refreshing nectar is. I think this one is refreshing. It's the green one. And uh, I'll bring up a, a graphic in just a sec. Let me just clear this one out. And boom. Yeah, I think we've I think we've missed it, guys. It's just small ones now. What about up here? Did it get up here? I was hoping to get a rare. Uh, let's have a quick look. I've got a graphic here somewhere. If I can find it. Where is it? Planters, all right, nectars. All right, guys, so if you haven't seen this already, uh, this is what you want for the nectars, okay? So these are basically say this is the refreshing nectars. This is comforting, satisfying, motivating, and invigorating, okay? So this is when you put your planters in these fields, this is what you've got to get, yeah? Now, there is one caveat on that, which is that... Some planters actually give you better. Let's have a quick look at that. Boom. So some planters actually get you. By the way, this was actually made by OO Amiga. So shout out to them on the Discord. But if we have a look here, guys, we can see that some of these planters here will actually give you a better motivating, a better invigorating, satisfying, and depending on which field they're in. So you want to sort of take a screen snap of this. Uh, I'll do a video of it as well, but it is a pretty handy thing to have. So you want your blue in the blue fields here. I'm just going to give you refreshing and comforting, and uh, that's pretty much it. So when you're standing in the field and you've got a planter in that field, this that's what you actually get. It's actually the nectar. In fact, have we got time? I might actually just uh, quickly show you as well. Quickly just show you guys something. Oh, I've got to get rid of my backpack here. Boom. Hopefully no one starts. Puff shrooms at the moment. So, yeah, there's a spot here as well, guys. So have a talk to Ms. Rosie B. She is going to be able to get you onto the server and you can come play with hoops. Uh, so there's this thing over here now, guys. It's the nectar pot, right? So these things you get when you're actually in the field, they're pretty good buffs, uh, and they actually disappear over time. As you can see, that's like 23 hours. This is one hour to go, and this is six hours. So I think this is the one I did overnight, and it's like 24 hours. Well, if you wanted to save that, you can come into here and you can choose which ones you save and it will cost you five tickets. Now, I think the way that works is that the timer stops and then you can come back and do it. So that is pretty good. That's a pretty neat little feature, guys. Uh, we'll do a video on that one as well. But as you can see here, I've got plenty of comforting nectar and it's a 1.5x uh, blue pollen. So if I hold on to that, then that's going to be great for when I'm grinding as well. And obviously, it's pretty good with the puff shrooms. All right, looks like we're back on board with the puff shrooms here, guys. So I'm going to get back and focus. Level three, we're on a level four here. So I think everyone's going to follow this one around, maybe. Let's get up here. And, uh, boom, level five. Great. So, yeah, when it goes up into the sky, all right, I think it's gone over to bamboo, maybe. Level 5, or did it get up there? I think it might have gone right up to the top, actually. Let's have a look. I have a feeling it went up here. Level 6, yeah, great. So let's see if we can get this one down. I don't think anyone's going to know that it's up here. What have we got? Level 7 now. Let's do that one instead. That's even better. All right, let's get back to those comments as well. Uh, are, macro, are macros allowed? Well, I don't know, guys. I mean, the way that uh, Onnit's designed his game, I mean, it's kind of turning into an AFK game. I think he wants people to play AFK. That's why he's given us the planters. That's why they take so long to actually hatch. Uh, yeah, so I have a feeling, yeah, he wants us to play AFK. 
because he wants to keep his numbers up during the year. So, yeah, technically, I'm not sure. It used to be banned. Honestly, it used to be banned, and everyone seems to be doing it now. So I guess that's the thing, guys. Do whatever you want. It's just a game. I mean, like, let's not, let's not uh, blow it out of proportions, guys. It is just a game, and it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you don't actually hack people's stats or try to cheat on the leaderboard or something like that. If you don't do that, I, I think everything is on the table after that, guys. All right, let's go. We, we've got a level 11 here. We're going to try to get that down a bit. Uh, level, both level 11s. Okay, great. So, yes. Uh, questions, guys. Who knows what pollen is satisfying uh, is satisfying nectar? Uh, what pollen is satisfying nectar? Okay, well, I just had that chart up here. I'll bring it up again in a sec, guys. Maybe someone can tell you. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's get this one done. Level 11, I don't think. Okay, it's going down there somewhere. Let's just get this one done as well. We'll just see if we can follow it. Uh, that's gone up to mountaintop. I think that one might have just come down here. 12, yep. So we've got a 12. We're not quite getting to 15 this time. 37 seconds. Now, does, guys, do you know about the timers? I mean, like, the timers seem to be, like, low, and then they'll jump back up to one and a half minutes or something. Uh, you can get a screening in just a second. All right, so, oh, well, I've got them done. I've done the snow machine. How cool is that, guys? How cool is that? Well, let's go, uh, well, actually, what? Oh, boy, guys, we've got a legendary on stream. How cool is that? We got it. Oh, if only you could see what I got. Hard wax, some neon berries. What? I can't believe it, guys. We got a legendary mushroom. I've never seen one of those. And we managed to smash it out. Great job, everybody. Great job. Wow, that is impressive. Ah, that is impressive, guys. I didn't really see what I got. Let's go check my... Uh, it'll probably tell me in here, won't it? Uh, blueberries. I've got a glitter and a hard wax. Okay. Yeah, well, that's that wasn't really legendary. I mean, oh, I've got some neon berries, guys. I've got some neon berries. Let me, let me just check to see if I've got any neon berries. Uh, I've only got 22,000 bitter berries, guys. I've only got 22,000... I'm hoping I'm going to get to use them in crafting something. I've got 1,000 neon berries. Someone started the snow bear. I wasn't even... Well, while we got doubles. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if you remember last year, guys. It was a crazy time because people would do it at exactly at the same time for the snow bears. And that was not a good idea, okay? That is not a good idea. Because once you get frozen, they kind of lock on to you. Let's get this done. I probably should get a stinger out here. Whereas this guy's not going to get his done. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, we should be fine. Uh, I'll just cut through here, so I want to get some of those, and let's just finish it off with that, maybe. Very, very close. Boom. Okay, so remember, guys, if you're going to do snow bears, just, uh, just let me know in advance, because there's a few things you want for a snow bear. It's an emergency coconut shield. You want to make sure your stingers, and you've got plenty of health as well, because you can see I'm pretty low there as well. So, yeah, well, that was a uh, uh, legendary puff shroom, guys. Wow. That's the first one I've seen. And we actually killed it pretty quickly as well. So that was interesting. Did anyone notice what actually happened to make that uh, legendary? Is that the one that I got back from the uh, pineapple field? Uh, how do you grind enzymes and oils quickly for honey mask and the belt? Well, you can get oils from the polar bear, like literally every second turn, guys. You want to get onto the polar bear's quests. Uh, you're going to get, like, oil every second turn. So that is one thing. The enzymes, well, that's pineapples. You just have to basically farm pineapples, guys. I think that's probably the best way is to actually just use some sprouts, farm in the pineapple field, and that's probably your best way. Otherwise, the memory matches, just give that stuff all the time. You can get, like, three uh, enzymes from the memory match above the spirit bear there. So let's just get this. Now, I've, d I've already donated one present, guys. Uh, I did the bucket bee quest. Yes. Same. Uh, so, yes, basically, we've got a situation here, guys, where... what? Let me just go and get this uh, Bucko B1 done, actually, because everyone can utilize some of these snowflakes. All right, just hang on, guys. Just hang on for a sec. Oh, don't even know what I was saying. All right, let me get this Bucko B thing done, and then I can actually use this. Beautiful work. Oh, yes. Oh, hang on. That was an extract. Seriously? Come on. There we go. There we go, guys. Here we go. This is it. We're ready to go. Think of the snowflakes. I bet your friends will appreciate it too. All right. I think this is like every four hours. Look at the treats, guys. Look at that. 
more cool stuff, guys. I got myself another ticket planner as well. Let me just uh, get a next quest here so I'm ready to go. I think someone's actually started the uh, snowstorm and I've kind of missed it. Yeah, that's great. All right. Well, I know it's, it's a snowstormy. I can't tell. It's so white here. All right, maybe. Everybody's going crazy in this field. All right, I'm going to try to get up there. Now, you're going to have a little bit of uh, haste, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there straight away. Let's just wait. Let's wait and see what happens, guys. Where's my haste? Okay, so, yes, uh, Ms. Rosie B is managing people. Hopefully, uh, we're getting some new players coming in, and you guys can play. We can get some snow bears down on push rooms or whatever you want to do. All right, let's activate this uh, snow machine, and let's see how we go. I actually probably forgot when I was doing the puff shrooms to uh, drop one of those oils. But yeah, definitely get the oils from the polar bear quests. And look, crafting, guys, if you get sprouts, I could get a sprout from the smaller... Wow, okay, that was probably bad timing on my part. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get these snowflakes and now there's puff shrooms everywhere. Uh, you can basically get, you know, a sprout or a magic bead from the planter from this uh, memory match, guys. I always seem to get one from this memory match, and then I can sometimes get one from the next one that's the next level up, and then sometimes, you know, as a dud, you can get one from the big memory match as well. So just get magic beans, and then plant them in the right fields, and then just craft them. That is much easier. I mean, even just playing the game, guys. Like, if you could get, and, oh, great, level one. That's pretty impressive. If you could get to the point, guys, where you're actually um, doing the stick bug, especially for the uh, Beesmus version of it, you'll actually find that there's a lot of really good stuff in there. So I'm going to try to get that one completed so that we could actually start doing those on stream as well because those stick bugs are just OP. You know, the amount of snow and everything that appears in those things. You can even get gingerbread from them, guys. So you want to get that stick bug quest done really early because that's the thing that's actually going to help you grind enough to get everything out of the catalog this year and look we've got 60 days guys we've got 60 days in the catalog that is ridiculous like seriously we everyone's going to be like super super op i'm going to pro well i'm 100 percent going to be finished with business again like beast i'm going to be like the end gamer again before the end of business for sure once we get a couple of codes in and i can actually grind a little bit of honey that would be great all right, this is not really in the same field, so that's not helping us at all. Uh, rare puffer. I'm going to get some out of the red fields as well, guys. Let me, uh, can someone help me with my level five snow bear? Uh, yes, if you can just see if you can get into this server, then we can definitely help, guys. Uh, level five, there's lots of rares coming. Still need that epic, though. Still searching for an epic. So let's clear out some of these here. And uh, we'll see what actually happens. If we can get ourselves one of these into the other field, that would be great. And I don't even know if epics like start at level 6 or 5 or whatever. All right, let me just uh, go back into my comments here. I think we must be on slow down a long way, guys. I sent my request. Uh, yes, thanks so much. Any questions? Uh, Cloudy, oh, OMG, yes, you are in Cloudy. Friend, friendly with you now, always. Okay, everyone's chatting to Ms. Rosie, so that's great. You got any questions, guys? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see if we can answer them. Do you think it's possible for me to do a science bear quest? I'm currently yes, absolutely. Science bears are actually not too hard, so yeah, like you just got to keep working at it, and you'll get your translators. Now decide which ones you want. I would suggest actually getting the stick bug one, and then either the red or blue, and then get the other one later. Because, like, really, the red or the blue, depending on which hive you are, is really helpful. And the stick bug, like I say, is pretty OP. So, yeah, absolutely. I don't think it really took me too long at all to get the side spare quest done. If you really, really go hard at it. Because Beesmus, there's just stuff everywhere. There's boosts everywhere. If you manage to get yourself a buoyant bee or a, a precise bee, it's really going to help a lot as well, guys. All right. So, let me just uh, quickly just... Oh, boy. I'm not seeing these things. I'm getting notifications here, but I'm not seeing anything coming up. Uh, so, yeah, definitely you can get through Science Bear. It's not too hard. Just get into the servers with other people, guys, because, like, they're going to have buffs going. They're going to help you out. And if you can be farming near someone that's got a lot of goo, that's going to help a lot as well. So what have we got over here? 
Uh, I'm really not paying any attention to this. Oh, I think I need rows, actually. So we can get this done. 28 seconds. Maybe. It's possible, guys. It's possible. Let's see what happens. 21 seconds. Level 10. That's that one done, and that one disappeared anyway, so I don't know. <laughs> I think they're all going. Oh, well, we missed out. No more epics. We need an epic in here. This is way too hard. Can we see the playtime? Uh, my playtime? Yeah, I've played a lot, guys. Uh, well, not really. I mean, some people play a lot more. But I've got 112 uh, days worth of playtime in, in my server. Now, most of that uh, is just real playing, guys. It's not actually sitting there as a macro. I usually AFK the snail. That is usually it, except for Beesmus. And then Beesmus, I'm pretty much on all the time because I'm trying to get as much gingerbread as I can. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. But I've been playing for a few years as well, guys. So you've got to keep that in mind as well. But, uh, yeah, look, AFK, guys. AFK is the secret to Beesmus, right? If you could AFK, you're going to get 24 gingerbread just out of this. If you could AFK for 24 hours a day, don't collect it until you need it. Do not collect it. You don't need it, so don't collect it. Because, like, if it resets to every two hours. And then, like, if you were, like... You picked it up at three hours, you've lost an hour of time. So just don't pick up the gingerbread until you need it. Some of the quests require it, but other than that, uh, should we do this one? Wow, this is tiny. So the puff shrooms, uh, that must have been one that just spawned automatically. The puff shrooms actually, uh, when you have a planter, they're started at a much higher level. So keep that in mind. I'm going to see if we can turn this one into something decent, though. Let's see where it heads. All right, we'll get up here and we'll do this one here too, guys. Hey, Hoops, how can I grind gumdrops? Uh, gumdrops, well, you're just going to have to grind the mobs for that. I, I prefer to use tickets, to be honest. Uh, that's a lot better than uh, mucking around, <laughs> around trying to get all these things from the mobs all the time. Did anything come up here? No, it didn't. What? Where did it go? I missed it. Oh, it must have been just this one here. Great. Uh, so yeah, look, gumdrops, guys. Spend your spend your tickets. I know I know you guys want to use your tickets for star treats and all that sort of stuff. But look, some of the stuff that you can buy with those tickets, like actual getting gumdrops uh, and then get the equipment, is actually a lot more beneficial than getting a gifted bee, say. Uh, but you know, that said, obviously there's a bunch of event bees that you want to get gifted as well. Look, remember, guys, you can feed most of those bees your favorite treats, right? So. If you're like farming treats and whatever, oh, high spec. Uh, yeah, if you're farming treats and whatever, then you can basically turn some of those bees gifted. I've got a few videos on that as well. The other thing is gingerbread uh, will actually turn your bee gifted as well. So it's like about a 1.05% chance or something. I don't know. It's a pretty low chance, but I did one in about 40 gingerbread. So if you want to waste a few gingerbread, you could do that. But don't forget, guys, there's a catalog here. And you're going to get some cool stuff in here. Do we have a star treat? Yeah, so there we go. It's only 10,000. It's only 10,000 snowflakes. Check this out, guys. I've already got like 18,000 or 1,800 snowflakes. And it's only 10,000 for a star treat in the catalog. So it's totally doable. We're, this is like day two of Beesmus. So I've still got like 63 days to claim everything. So, yeah, you want to definitely... Where did that one go? Uh, back here again. Great. Move over to a field. Get over to a field. Go. Get over there somewhere. Uh, yeah. So we've got a... Ms. Rosie B, we've got to spec is uh, AFK at the moment. So maybe if we could take spec out of the server and maybe add room for another person, that would be great. I'll do a quick check and see who's still on there in a second. Maybe that's what your problem is. Uh, yes. Oh, Beluga Whale, $2. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Oh, actually, you gave me $5 before. Hello, Hoops. I wanted to say thank you for the videos because they help a lot. Oh, uh, thank you very much, Beluga Whale. Yeah, sorry I missed that before. I was distracted. I was a little bit distracted. Sorry about that. But thank you for the super chat. It's much appreciated. What the? Seriously? This is like Mushroom City over here. No one is paying any attention to the clover field. So, yeah, back to the catalog, guys. There is a lot of really cool stuff. So last year, I pretty much got everything, I think, out of the catalog. So uh, there's no reason why you can't get most of it, too. I don't think it gave me any special abilities because I was like an OP player. You just have to go and farm those uh, snowflakes. They're not too hard. Getting the gingerbread, that's not hard. You just have to put the time into it. 
you want to get these diamond eggs and mythic eggs. And this this here, let me show you guys. This is actually the best deal, the Merry Mundo bond, uh, Bundle. You're getting a gifted mythic egg, but you're also getting a turpentine and you're getting a 10 festive planters, guys. 10. Yeah, 10 festive planters and 100 purple potions. Now, when you go into, yeah, when you go into the crafting machine, you'll see that you'll need purple potions to craft super smoothies. So that is a really good deal. E even better so than just getting the straight super smoothies because you're getting all this other stuff. It's only 100 gingerbread. Oh, what? not that one. It's actually less gingerbread. Let me go back to it. There, it's 250 versus uh, 500. So that one is definitely well worth getting, guys. You want to get the Merry Mundo Bundle. It's 25,000 snowflakes. That is the only problem here. It's a lot of snowflakes. But look, guys, I'm nearly up to 2,000. I probably, I have probably spent maybe a couple of hundred snowflakes already. Actually, probably about 1,000 because I bought stuff in the catalog several times. So I'm probably up to maybe 3,000 in day two. So 25,000 is going to be pretty easy. So, guys, just get in there, play the game, do AFK to get the gingerbread, 100%. You can macro if you want. I don't care. It's not my game. <laughs> so, if you don't want to play the game, then that's fine. Um, but, yeah, totally take advantage of Beastmas because after Beastmas is finished, everyone is, like, OP, and then the new players come in and they can't, they can't get big quips and all sorts of stuff. I think maybe that's going to change this year, so... All right, so I recommend people getting Honeysuckle Bundle. Okay, well, let's have a look at the Honeysuckle Bundle, see what that looks like. Uh, do, 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 Honeysuckle Bundle. There we go. The 150 Honeysuckles, 15 oils, uh, one honeybee jelly. Okay, well, that's not too bad. It's pretty cheap, though, guys. That is pretty cheap, but look how many Honeysuckles I've got already. Wish we could just do a quick search on this. This would be great. Uh, let's see, Honeysuckles. Where did I miss them? All right, let's go back and do that again. I've got 163 honeysuckles, guys. 163, and it's day two. So, yeah, I've already got enough for that. But look, it is a pretty cheap bundle as well, guys. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with my honeysuckle. Automatically makes bees instantly convert some pollen into honey when your bag becomes full. So that'll be helpful. I haven't really started playing with all of that stuff. So that is the other thing, guys. I've still got lots to learn. I didn't get to play in the test realm, so I am busy, busy, busy trying to learn all of this stuff as well. Actually, what quest do I need to do next? I still need one rare from Mushroom, two from Rose, and use some of my soft waxes. I've got to get the epic still. Oh, that's horrible. And I've got to do some stick bug. We might do a stick bug, guys, while we're waiting. Let's go. If anyone's not asking for a snow bear... Let's, I might just get up to the snow bear, guys, because I'm trying to help with the snow bear as well. I'm not, like, super OP, and I definitely... There we go. Someone's going to probably do it. I definitely don't have a, uh, you know, super OP hive for attack now. I've just gone back into questing as well. So I probably... If we have to do a level 20 snow bear again, I don't think I'm going to bother this year. That was just ridiculous last year. And we're out. Okay, so we must be getting a server reboot here, guys. So I'm going to just try to rejoin... And it uh, looks like Ms. Rosie B's bringing a bunch of new players in. Dragon Dominator donated $2 Australian. Thank you very much, Super Chat. That's appreciated. Uh, hey, Hoops, how can I get gingerbread really fast? Did you watch my video? <laughs> Just go and have a look, guys. I already got 50 gingerbread, 60 gingerbread even, probably even more in literally one day. So just go watch my video on my channel. I've made it as quick as possible. And, uh, yeah, Basically requires farming some of the gingerbread house, so AFK all day. Go and farm the werewolf, like you literally get a gingerbread almost every time. Although you do need to have a baby love as well, so if you can get a gifted tadpole bee, that would help. Gambit says, Miss Rosie B, can I help join Spawn a Puff Shroom? And can I help with snow bears? My user is Gamer44Flow. Well, that is very polite. Uh, I think maybe Ms. Rosie B will see those sorts of polite comments because she likes people that are polite. Uh, Weefa says, hey, Hoops, can you check out the festive bundle? It's really OP for its price. Yeah, let's have a look at that one as well. Now, look, Honor's probably going to give us some more bundles for Robux as well, guys, so keep that in mind. Festive bundle. Let's have a look at that. Now, the uh, Beastmas tree hat, the five festive beans, yes. 
I always like to get more festive beads for sure. So yeah, that is pretty good price as well. So there's a few things that you want to get. I mean, you want to get the puppy radiant antlers because you can actually farm gingerbread like all year and you can use them to try to uh, level up and get gifted bees and stuff. So who have we got this time, guys? We've got XX Bro XXP. We've got Biscuit Plays YT. Uh, we've also got Baby Yoda Gaming YT. Well, a lot of YTers. Uh, King Joker, who we know from last year. Uh, and also, oh, uh, Rita Cheetah. <laughs> Rita Cheetah. Oh, boy. You guys with your names. I can't believe it. All right, little check out. Oh, yeah, okay. My Oh, yeah, my, my balloon's bigger. My balloon's bigger than King Joker. Now, King Joker's pretty OP. Has he got, like, level 18 now? Uh, oh, level 15. I thought he actually had some uh, high-level bees. But anyway, never mind. It's still looking pretty impressive, guys. It's still looking pretty impressive. So, yes, there is definitely a couple of decent bundles here. Festive as well. I'm going to go for that. I might be... If I have leftovers, I'll obviously go for that. But, like... That was my goal last year, but I still have like 50 odd super smoothies. And now I'm getting so much stuff through Bismuth, I'm going to be able to craft a whole heap of these things as well. So you've got to keep that in mind, guys. Just choose wisely. When you've got all the quests as well, just get the rubbishy things for the quest and think about it later, right? So, like, I bought a royal jelly for like 10 snowflakes. Like, who needs a royal jelly? Seriously? Nobody. So, but it's like, just get those out of the way for the quests, and then you can come back and think about the good stuff later, and work out exactly what you want. Like, so there's soft wax, hard wax, and also caustic wax, and it's only 1,500 uh, snowflakes and 15 gingerbread, right? So that is pretty decent. So there's a bunch of good stuff. On it usually goes overs for Beesmus, so if you're playing at Beesmus, that is great, guys. You are totally going to win at Beeswarm Simulator. You'll be OP. You'll probably have 45 bees by the end of Beesmus. Uh, whoa, it's going to try to get me. Oh, it's got me. Great. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much just play a lot of Beesmus as you can. You've got 60 days to go. We've got part two coming. The next part's going to be a lot harder than this first part. There's the heads up. So uh, try to get this one done as much as you can, and then you can take it from there. Now, I'm going to get these tokens here because oh, they missed them. Great. I think we're going to be in a bit of trouble here, actually. Uh, do I? No, I don't have my coconut shield anymore. And I really want these things here. We're getting close. 15 seconds. 15. We're very close, guys. We got it. We did it. So, yeah, look, I'm not a pro at the snow bear. Give you the hot tip, guys. Pumpkin patch. I'm going to go do the uh, stick farm because I definitely need some more tokens. So let's go and do that. And I can't be bothered changing my mask, so it's probably not going to be great. All right, the server is full. Yeah, the server is going to be full for probably about 15 minutes or so. Uh, then Ms. Rosie B might, uh, yeah, I'll grab some of that. There's oil, guys. Mention, someone mentioned about oils. Stick bug is a great place to get a lot of treats. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you can get the stick bug done, the translator, and get it unlocked, and then try to do the stick bug every day, well, you're going to get a whole heap of stuff. And this uh, Beesmus one is going to be insane. And I should have that unlocked tomorrow. I just have to get that epic. That's uh, going to be hard, that epic mushroom. All right, so let's see. Put on your demon mask for Snow Bear. Yeah, I know. I haven't really needed to yet, but I just should do. It kind of wasn't going to be a demon mask sort of a stream. I was kind of do mushrooms, and I kind of need my blue because I'm actually set out for blue, guys. Uh, yeah, so otherwise I would. I would normally have my demon mask on for stick bug and whatever, for sure. But Blue's not very strong on the, the uh, power, guys. Oh, hi. I'll just have a little selfie here. Yeah, it's not very strong on the power. And uh, that's the only problem with Blue is it's more of a farming type of a hive. So, yeah, there is that, guys. All right, let's just see if we can get this done here. But I'm okay, guys. I don't actually like the red flames from this new update. So I don't know about you guys. I don't like the old red flames either, to be honest. So that gets in, gets in my way sometimes. Let's uh, just, I want to just close this down and we keep going. All right, it looks like we've got a few planters in here as well. Let's get over here and boom. So let's get back to the comments. Uh, when you get time of being on accepting simply, only quickly getting help with others can snow bear and hoping on being able to quick get my last few rare puff I'm missing. All right, well, that's Last Fallen Angel, Ms. Rosie B. Have a look for Last Fallen Angel so we can get them on the server just to get a couple of puff shrooms done so that would be good all right that one's out of the way now i think i need some of those uh 
tokens actually as well. So I might just grab some of those. But where did they all go? Oh, there they are. They didn't even spawn. Great. That's excellent. Anyone noticed any bugs uh, with the servers or anything like that? We did have a planter disappear the other day. I think I had it in one field, and I'm like, what? It's not in the field. And I think it was like about one hour from uh, being complete. So that was a bit annoying. But I think uh, Onnit's pretty much done a good job with Beesmus this year. So he's put a lot of content. It would have been nice to get some of the content during the year. Maybe he wouldn't have been so stressed, but I think he was having some problems. So uh, really need to help push rooms. Uh, has... Have you done the stick bug quest hoops? Uh, yes, almost. Let's have a look, see where we're at. Yeah, so I just need to get a few more of these uh, tokens, and uh, then I just need to get that epic puff room. And the coconut, falling coconuts is easy, guys. That is easy to do. Just remember to do your coconut crab. You're going to get about 100 or so coconuts. I also have the coconut shield which actually does help with that quest as well. And I'm dreading the falling lights one, guys. We normally have some like ridiculous amount of falling lights to get at some stage, which is really hard to do when you've got lag in servers. So keep that in mind. All right, so what else we got here? Ms. Rose, can I join? Uh, Hoops to be, how can I join your server? I really need to get help with some of my quests. Yep, sorry about that. Uh, yes, Ms. Rose B is gonna try to accept requests and uh, try to control people getting in and out of servers. So occasionally we get rebooted after people have had a little bit of time and then it's all good. So just hang around. Ms. Rosie B will try to let you get on. Even if I finish the live stream, guys, if you actually just get to be friends with Ms. Rosie B, I pop into her servers and uh, then I'll come and play with you guys and help you guys out as well. It's uh, My server tends to not be open to people because I've got to do recording and stuff. And uh, so I don't really need people there while I'm doing that because that's a bit of a pain. So, yeah, I hate having to kick people out. I might actually get another VIP server. I think I might even do that like I did last year. Where did he go? It's a bamboo. Where? Oh, he's in the field. Right, okay. I gotcha. Uh, you can't take your eyes off this thing. Bruh, I'm doing my Riley B quest and trying to get rare puff shrooms. Yes. That's why we're here today, guys. We're helping out with the rare puff shrooms. So, yeah, those we figured it out, guys. Somebody came up with the idea that you just got to follow one particular puff shroom and it will start to grow. When it gets to about, I don't know, level 10, you've probably got a chance of it turning into a rare and just got to hope it's in the right field. I don't think anyone's come up with the idea on how to actually uh, get it pushed into a particular field. So, yeah, oh, we're going to die here. I know I'm going to die. It's crazy. At least the uh, health thing has been fixed, guys, because that was a bit of a mess. Playing this and uh, not having a health bar did not help much at all. Let's get this one done. Now, any other questions, guys? Uh, I need more rare puff shrooms for Riley and Bucko. Yeah, we all do. We all need rare ones. So you just got to keep playing on every 15 minutes after the hour and every 45 minutes after the hour, guys. Uh, on it will spawn one automatically. They do start at a pretty low level, so it's going to be pretty hard uh, to get. Let me just get this out of the field. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard, guys, to get uh, level 15 from those. So you want to use your ticket planters, or any planter's got a chance of spawning, to be honest. So, yeah, just keep planting stuff, guys. I've, you could do three per server or per, per account. So just choose which ones you need, and then just keep planting. And just claiming. And if you're actually AFKing in that field, it'll grow a lot quicker as well. So let's keep that in mind. Let's get some of these out. Oh, boy, this is not looking good. All right, let's see. What well, two minutes to go. We should be able to get level 10. I think that's like silver or something for people. So that'll be good. And uh, at least that'll give them something to work with. All right, come on. Oh, I died. Right, we're, we're struggling here. Can I have help with the science bear quest? It's hard. I need help with Riley as well. So what level science bear quest? What's the hard bit about the science bear quest? Probably it's a goo thing, I'm imagining. Um, yeah, goo's pretty hard to come by. So that's why you've got to get the gummy bee pretty early on in the game. Uh, also gummy mask, obviously. The gummy boots are nice to have, but uh, you definitely need to get that gummy bee as soon as you can, guys. Whoa, it's going to get me. All right, well, I think we're about to get him. And now we can go over to here and get this one done. 
What should it do first? Coconut boots? Or co yeah, definitely not the boots. All right, definitely not the boots. Because, like, yeah, they're, it's pretty expensive. And ideally, you want to get these boots. So definitely go for the canister first. The Coco backpack is definitely helps with uh, capacity. And it gives you a massive white boost. And the shield is really important, guys. It is re Did we actually get it or not? Uh, yeah, the shield is really important to play this game. It gives you a lot of coconuts. Uh, it gives you a boost. It gives you a speed boost. It gives you all sorts of amazing things. Uh, it can protect you as well, especially when you're playing the coconut crab. So you definitely want to go for... Oh, I'm going to die again. I know it's, it's getting a bit intense, guys. Get a little bit laggy with the live stream. Uh, yeah, so you definitely want to go the co coconut uh, backpack first. And then think about the boots, whether you actually do need them. Oh, there we go. That's me in pieces, guys. That's what it looked like in pieces. Uh, so, yeah. I'll get this done. Maybe we'll get some tokens here. Sneak some. Da, 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 da. Right. All right. Does everyone get the same score in the server when the stick bug? No. So, basically, what you have to do, if you're, like, trying to get an amulet of some sort, you need to be the person attacking the stick bug, not getting the nymphs and stuff. It's actually the people that are attacking the stick bug that are actually getting the points. So if you're trying to help somebody, you just go for support, right? You've got to get them to level 10 or level 12 or 13 or whatever it is, but you're going for support and you're just trying to clear out those uh, defense token totems. So, yeah, you want to do that, guys. So, yeah, like everybody gets a different score, but you have to get to a particular level before you can get a certain amulet. So keep that in mind. But you want to be the person to get around the actual stick bug. And uh, yeah, there we go. We've got a silver. So that's great. Look at that. So I've got uh, mi minus nine monster respawn. And I've got blue B attack. So that's pretty handy. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of this. I don't think it's going to change. So let's keep the old and we're done. All right. So we should be doing some puffs rooms now, hopefully. Let's see how we go. I better ask. Plant sprouts at Coco, please. We're not really doing sprouts at the moment. Uh, puff shrooms. And we're out again. So Ms. Rosie B has restarted the server. So obviously we didn't get enough puff shrooms in that one. So we'll see how we go, guys. We'll see how we go. I guess it wasn't really going to be a stick bug sort of a live stream either. All right, so well, let's scroll down some of these uh, chat pieces. Magnus says, uh, Hoops of B, if you don't have much beans, how would I get sunflowers and pineapples fast? Because I have petal wand and I still don't have them. Right, well, sunflowers and pineapples fast. Let's say if you've actually got... Okay, Still trying to get in the server. Um, just look for the sparkles. The sparkles come every, like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. And that's a bunch of things. But I'm going to show you something in just a moment, guys. And, like, if this is something you can do, even if you don't have magic beans. Uh, I've got to get on first. I'm still waiting to get on. All right. Having some technical difficulties getting into this server at the moment. So, basically... What you need to get is to uh, turn them into, hang on, what the, let me just focus on this, guys, let me focus on this. All right, we're still having some permission problems getting into a server. I might just keep going for a little bit. Otherwise, I'll just join public or something. It might be easier. I don't want to not be playing. Here we go. I think we're going to try again. See if we can get in first. I think the problem is, is everybody is joining before I get to go in. And so Ms. Rosie B is restarting the server because I can't even get into the server. So that's not great. If Ms. Rosie B is listening, maybe if she could get into the server first. And then if she leaves, there might be one more spot. Uh, what should I do to get the first dipper from the mountaintop or the boots? Uh, well, okay, don't get the dipper from the mountaintop unless you've got 35 Bs, okay? Milan sub 2, uh, Liz Lisbo Kate, right. Uh, look, my hot tip is just to go and get 35 Bs and then go back and get the dipper. 
Because the reason is, guys, is because normally when you get up there and you're like, you got 30 bees, the dipper actually costs as much as getting three more bees. So you just have to get two more bees and then you can actually get into the 35B gate, get a bunch of cool stuff, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, then you can go back and get the porcelain dipper. Usually it's like the next day, all right? But if you get the porcelain dipper first, you've got to then grind at least for a day or two just to get the next two bees. So, and you could already be starting quests, especially during Beesmas. All right, so how do I get, how do you get pineapples? How do you get pineapples? This is the question. Well, I haven't done a video on this, but guys, did you realize that you can come in here every two hours, right? Like, I don't see enough people doing their ant challenges. So if you just come into here, let's just see what happens. Now, what I normally do is I just AFK this. So I just basically click on that and I alt tab off and it just starts clicking. I don't even play this game and I can still get enough for extracts and oils and enzymes and all sorts of stuff. So the coconut shield is really good here, guys, because, well, you know, obviously it's going to give you a little bit of a boost. It's going to protect you in case you get into troubles as well. Uh, it's probably going to get a bit laggy because everybody is just watching. But I'll just let that rub for a little bit and I'm not playing the game at all right now. Let's get back into the comments. Uh, hoops, uh, which is better for my mixed hive? Spicy bee or vector bee? I have one of them already. I'm spinning, spinning in royal jellies. Yeah, okay. Well, definitely the uh, vector bee. If it's a mixed hive, it's going to cover all bases, right? So spicy bee is going to really help you if you want to go ahead and, and get a little bit more attack power. But it's not even, I'm not even sure it's the best bee. Like, go and have a look at the stats. I'm pretty sure lion bee is still pretty, pretty much up there. Let's have a look and see what the difference is. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where's the lion bee? Scrolling. Okay, so let's have a look at the stats of the lion bee. Attack of nine. And now let's go and have a look at the attack on the spicy bee. Attack of five. Right? So, guys, I mean, it obviously it depends on the level as well. But, uh, yeah, the lion bee still sort of roars in this game. And people kind of forget about it. It is a colorless. And check this out, guys. If you've got a lot of lion bees you're getting, and you have one gifted, you're getting a bunch of colorless bee attack as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, people kind of forget that. This vector bee is a, a, a colorless as well. And check that out, guys. It's got an attack of five as well. So you don't really need the spicy bee. I mean, I've got one. But uh, you don't really, there you go, guys. So I didn't play this game at all. Every two hours, you can come in here. Now, normally it gets a bit high. If you get up to 150, uh, you get about 50 uh, treats, right? And that could be an extract or whatever you want. And uh, you don't even need to have a, a sprout or magic bean for that. So just keep that in mind. Spec, I usually say puff mushrooms uh, for its scented. Yeah, puffs. Yeah, we, yeah, I'm not sure if puffs is. <laughs> Puffs actually does mean something else in adult terms, so let's not uh, let's not go there. All right, let's see if anybody here is going to be doing. I need help with Riley B and Sides B quests. Okay, anyone? Just check here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's see if we go snow. We're going to Snowbear apparently. So as long as no one's got to a high level Snowbear, I can definitely help, guys. Uh, but yeah, if it's like going to be like level 15, 16 or something, you might want to give me a little bit of a heads up, especially right now because, oh yeah, that's, that's not going to be too hard. I think we got this. I think we got this. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. I think, we, yeah, we got that one. Level three, not too bad, guys. Remember this thing down here, the coconut shield, it takes about five minutes to regenerate. So like if you've got a big one, make sure everyone's ready to go and has their coconut shields ready and everything or else it ain't going to happen. Uh, I don't. I think we'll be fine here. I think we should be fine here, guys. Or else I might drop a uh, stinger. We'll see how we go. Yeah, we're fine. So the other hot tip of the snow bear, guys. Look where I'm standing. I actually stand on the side of the snow bear because he never throws to the side. So that is done. Uh, I need two percent from a ticket planter. Okay, two percent. Spec is going to wait two percent. So we go and stand in the field, spec, and that will help us heaps. Let's see if we can find which field. And it's almost quarter past anyway, so there'll be one. Which field? Spec. Which field? Uh, rows. All right, so let's get into rows, and then we can get that one done. So if you stand in your field with the planter, it actually happens a lot quicker as well, guys. So keep that in mind. And uh, let's clear that out of the way. I think we're about to get going. 
Let's see how we go here. I might just give everyone some jelly beans to get started with. Now, the jelly beans have been nerfed as well, so keep that in mind. Let's, let's go. We're going to follow these around. Uh, the earlier tip, and I still would like to know who that was. Let's go to level four here. And uh, we'll see if we can follow this one around. No, that one didn't go. All right, so anything that moves to a different field, you basically want to follow that. Okay, that is the hottest tip we've had today. So, yeah, that's gone, and it didn't go to another field. That one did. That's a level three. So we've gone backwards now. We've got to get this out of the field somehow. And uh, boom. Okay, level five again. Level four over there. That one's pretty tough. Let's going come on it's going to get out of the field there it goes i think it's gone up there all right great starting to move up level six now let's keep going guys let's keep these going okay gone everywhere great i'm not sure it actually goes at the same level ah level six there we go guys so we're going to level six rare it's in spider but that's not going to help anyone so i'm not going to tell anyone about that ah we got another level six great these rares are excellent but uh yeah it's level six again. That's excellent. What have we got over here? We've got level fives. Level seven. That's a good one. Let's follow this level seven around. See if we can get that. It's gone up to the top. So we're going to go up there now. And uh, hopefully that's like level eight. Oh, someone's got some serious plan. Okay, we've got a level six, seven, nine. We've got a level nine here. That's good. Three minutes to go, level nine. If this moves to another field, we should be pretty set, I think. Let's get this one out of the way. And uh, boom, 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 it's rare. Okay, great. See where it went? Everywhere. All right, I'm going to try to get to mountaintop and see if I can get that one to come back down. So let's see if we can get that one down, guys. E and E and boom. And it's a rare as well. Level 11 up here, great. All right, so uh, mountain top. I don't think anyone needs a mountain top up here, but let's see if we can clear it out. And an aphid, nice. Let's not uh, get killed though. What do we get from that? Are, they, are the aphids giving gingerbreads now? I haven't seen any yet, I don't think. So yeah. That is pretty cool if it's giving gingerbreads. All right, uh, Ms. Rose B, a question. How does it friend you? I need help defending Epic Mushroom. Yeah, we all need that one. We all need that mushroom one. I don't know where that went. Where did that go? Did we see it? It's floating somewhere. Uh, yeah, we all need the Epic, guys. So that's uh, rare and bamboo. Yeah, that actually is pretty helpful. Let's go down and get that one. Boom. Uh, it's gone. All right, excellent. Where have we got here? Level six. That one's new, level seven. Where did it go? It must have gone up the other side. Uh, yeah, getting the epic in a sunflower is like almost impossible. I've seen one epic. We've had one legendary on the stream, which is pretty impressive. These are all uh, not very good levels, so I don't know what happened. We had like a super level there, and then it's gone. So, yeah, we're kind of stuck here. I think we might have to get into the uh, red area, actually. I don't really want to see these ones because I think we've got to get some out of rows and stuff as well. Uh, so, yeah, guys, these, um, these mushrooms are proving to be a little bit painful for most people. It's kind of like what the snow bear was last year, very difficult for people to actually play the game properly, and it gets pretty frustrating as well. So, yeah, let's go. These are level 7s. This is not actually going to help someone. Was that a level 13? No. We lost it. I mean, we, we definitely had a level 11 here somewhere. I don't know where it went. Someone must be farming it. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's over here. Level 2. What have we got over here? Level 12. All right, great. It was here. So 30 seconds to go <laughs> level 12, and it's not going to even happen now. So, yeah, there, it's a bit of a pain trying to follow these things around everywhere. But uh, that is the only... Where did it go? Seriously, I didn't even see its little puff room, th push room thing going. Maybe it's uh, broken or something. Go to Clover. Thanks, Toxic Evil. Yes. I should have uh, been looking around a little bit more. I didn't really see where it went. How do the puff shrooms spawn? Uh, well, well, basically, if you have the ticket planter, that will spawn puff shrooms. Uh, if you have uh, after 15 minutes of, on the server and after, I think it's 45 minutes on the server... Uh, that will spawn a push room as well, but it's like a level one, so it's not really going to help anyone. 
And look, this hasn't turned into... <gasps> Whoa, we got an epic. We got an epic. But it's two seconds to go. Oh, no, it's an epic. Oh, and was that a, was that a legendary as well? Wow, we're getting some decent mushrooms, actually. It, it looks like, guys, it looks like the more mushrooms you have on the server, the more chance. I mean, like, this early stuff is not happening, but the more and more you get, and I didn't even notice that these are still going here, the more and more you get, I think there's a chance, guys. There's a real good chance that you get start to get the really good stuff. So I think you really got to grind out all these ones first, and uh, then hopefully we'll just get that. Let's see if that gets over to there. There it is, perfect. Uh, yeah, so I think what actually happens, guys, is it looks like the more of these mushrooms we have, the more chance we've got of getting epics and obviously legendaries as well. So, yeah, you want to keep that in mind. I think you, this is something you're going to have to do with a bunch of friends. I mean, I've been playing with a couple of people on the server, but, uh, yeah, I think it's not enough. I think you need, like, a bunch of people all doing the same thing, and uh, then you've got a really good chance of making it happen. Now, I don't know what happened here, guys. Did someone start something again? Oh, okay, that was probably the automatic one. So we probably got that at a different time level. So, yeah, so I was just wondering why exactly. There we go. Ooh, we, need a, we need a rare. We need a rare. Yes, Rose, Rose. Let's get that one done. I wonder if I got it. Guys, I wonder if I got that one. Let's check that out. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, stick bug, Riley's. Yeah, I need one more now for Rose. Excellent. And, yeah. And then I can get one in the mushroom as well. That would be great. And then I've got to use some soft waxes. Great. All right, guys, let me know in the comment below if uh, you actually know what I'm supposed to do with my soft waxes. I haven't even looked into the soft waxes yet. Let me have a quick look at that and see what it says about my soft waxes. Where are my waxes? Wax and wax and there we are. Soft wax. A squishy hunk of beeswax has a chance of improving a beer quip. Right, okay, so that was what we got last year. Uh, so, yeah, that's great. The hot tip that we had last year, and I don't know if it's still uh, valid, guys, but uh, if you actually use too many soft waxes on the same beer quip, it actually can go backwards. So keep that in mind, guys. I think you, like, yeah, it, it, last year it actually went backwards. So I'm not sure exactly what the technical term for that is. But the actual uh, stat on the B-Quip started to go backwards and not actually forward. So you can change it, but it doesn't mean to say it's going to be a good one. Uh, also, I haven't seen which fields gives what nectar. So is it possible to tell me which fields? Yep. I'll bring up that stat right now. There it is. There it is, guys. Maybe do a screen snap or something. So that was from, uh, oh, oh, no, inspired by a nude. Uh, it actually came from o o Omega, I think, made this one as well. So this is the nectar types. Uh, this is the types that you can get, and these are the fields where you're going to get them. So take a screen snap, guys. Uh, that is on the Discord, the Bee Swarm Discord as well. But if you take a screen snap of that, that's important stuff. When you put your planters in, this is what you've got chance of getting for the nectar, which is all going to give you little boosts for the server as well. So just keep that in mind. All right, so where are we at? I think we finished this one as well. I'm going to do some sprouts, I think. Let's see, everybody can do some sprouts. I think I need, uh, yeah, I might go, I might do some sprouts in stump. So, Ms. Rosie B, please do not, uh, stump, let me just get that. Uh, please do not restart the server. I'm about to do a couple of things in the stump field, if that's okay. Let's go, everybody, get to stump. Now, I'm only doing it because I've finished the stump snail, so it could be a bit messy. We did this yesterday, and the snails were a little bit crazy, so we'll see what actually happens here, guys. Let's see what happens. The magic bead. Uh, let's place it in. Yeah, this one is great. Let's go. Three. We need some clouds in here because I really don't like farming these things. And boom. Let's go. Let's get some sprouts. I need plenty of blueberries. So, yeah, let's get some of that action going, and then we can get some serious things. Oh, wow, gummy sprout. Oh, yeah, I need blueberries, so what do I get? Gumdrops. Yeah, that's, that's my luck, guys. That is my luck. All right, I could do, like, a legendary or a supreme here. Uh, let's go four, four. I've got to remember it's four. So, yeah, this is all great. The hot tip, guys, is just sort of go into a different part of the field, right? Do not... Uh, 
do not sort of spend your time in the same part of the field as everybody else because you're not going to get all this other good stuff around. So let's keep that in mind here. And uh, there's a lot of good stuff here, guys. A lot of good stuff. Yep, use your vector bees to pick up stuff as well. And look at this. My backpack is filling up. Great. That is my only problem with being in the stub field. I'm a little bit too OP. So I really should have dropped a uh, oil as well. Let's get that going. It's going to take forever. And uh, then we could do some more. So what are we doing? Uh, can Ms. Rose be right in the comments so I can actually see what's happening? Uh, yeah, with the server situation at the moment. Are we still getting people uh, with sprouts to do and uh, not sprouts, uh, puff shrooms, planters? What's the server link, Ms. Rosie B? Please be friends. Puff shrooms aren't showing and ticket planters are not giving. We're all stuck waiting for puff shrooms quest stalled. Clearly on it wasn't ready for release period like most of the so-called updates. Yes, that's correct, guys. That is correct. But look, we've got something to play with. Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost got that. Uh, yeah, we got something to play with, so that is at least something, right, guys? I mean, we could have had no business at all the way on it was earlier on in the year. So, yeah, that is, this is a good thing at least, guys. This is a good thing at least. Look at that. Oh, I should get that done as well, shouldn't I? My thing's ready, so let's just, wow, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, yeah, you need basically uh, magic beads in this game. You can buy them with tickets and whatever. Uh, the packs usually come out. They've got magic beans in. Just don't uh, be too uh, generous with them, though, guys, because you need to collect as much of this stuff as you can. And uh, sometimes if you're like, oh, come on, let's do a whole bunch of these things, they go pretty quickly, and you might not get what you want. Now, if you can do the fields above the 35B gate, you actually get like a 20% bonus of items. So, yeah, that's great if you're red or if you're going to do white. Uh, but I like, I like the stump for the blue, for the blueberries. So, yeah, I just sort of do it down here. I don't think I get the 20% bonus here. Let's go again, guys. Let's go again. What happened there? Did it actually work? Go again. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so I've got a lot. Wow, great. That's perfect. We just need more stuff to clutter up. So this is my biggest concern with people playing and the balloons and then all the other stuff happening. I mean, no one's really got their bees playing at the moment because they're all trying to kill the snail. But uh, my biggest concern was the amount of stuff that was all happening and, uh, well, the balloons and whatever. But it's not so bad if you play on the VIP server or whatever. Maybe that was the intention, make it so hor horrible that you could only really play on VIP anyway. Who knows? Who knows what Honored is thinking, guys, because he's not really a great communicator on the Discord either unless he's actually talking to the test, test chat people. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let, get, let's get hoops to 100K. Yes. Yes, Tony Vaughan. Thank you for the shout out there. Uh, yes, I'm trying to get to 100K. I'm very close, guys. I think I'll do it definitely during Beastmas. I'm not sure when. Hopefully, my wake when it happens. That would be nice. I'm going to claim this right now because I'm in this field. I'll get a bunch of cool stuff here. Uh, more jelly beads and stuff. And uh, then I could go and plant the thing again as well, guys. So let's just do another couple of these sprouts. Uh, Hoops, what do you think is the best mythic at the moment? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I haven't really seen precise bee at all. Uh, I'm loving buoyant bee, to be honest, because that helps me with my backpack issues. Uh, tadpole bee is my favorite. All right, guys. Tadpole bee, if you can get a gifted tadpole bee, it saves you having to have baby bee. And... Um, yeah, don't waste your sprouts on the moon charms, guys. That's your hot tip. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I love my tadpole bees. They're gifted. I get baby love all the time, guys, all the time. And so I'm always getting a better loot chance. I'm getting two by pollen all the time. And there it goes. It's disappeared. So I don't know where they are right now. But I've got like nine, I think, gifted tadpole bees. So that is pretty good. Now, I'm not going to drop sprouts here, guys, at night time because that's... That's just silly because you end up getting moon charms and I don't need many of those. So, All right, guys. Well, I think we're getting very, very close to the end. Uh, see if anyone wants to do snow bears and then I might uh, have a look at the time here and see where we're at. Because I feel like I've been chatting for some time now, guys. I feel like I've been chatting for some time. I'm getting a little bit of a sore throat. Uh, hoops, come to pineapple. Okay, back to pineapple. 
Back to pineapple. Where are we at? What's in pineapple, Baron? Let's get up here. Boom, boom, boom. What's in pineapple? Uh, maybe, oh, okay, maybe he's going to pop his thing. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Let's see, guys. Let's see if he pops it. Uh, the precise piece is inefficient at giving something. Uh, giving the... All right, why are, we in, why are we in here again? My planter is 80%. Well, that's, that's great. Uh, look at these, look at the planter. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's pretty impressive looking. I looked at some of the stats and I thought to myself, yeah, I might get that one, but you know, the stuff that it's giving out, it's not great, guys, it's not great. Uh, let's go, let's go have a look at the planters and uh, yeah, let's see, let's see exactly what's decent in this shop. First of all, if you buy them from the shop, you're actually going to get to reuse them. So that's a hot tip. I wish you could get the festive planter and buy that and reuse it time and time again. All right, so the plastic planter I've got, I haven't used it yet, so there's that. Uh, the candy planter is pretty decent, so I would say definitely get one of those. And uh, we're going back the other way. The tacky planter, yeah, well, let's have a quick look at what the tacky planter gives, guys. Uh, so it's going to give these as boosts. Like, I don't need any more sunflowers. Like, that is the problem, right? Tacky Planter is going to give those things as boosts, and I don't really need them. So, yeah, I've got it, but, you know, I'm not real uh, impressed with it. The spec is there great. The Pesticide Planter, well, that's uh, that's pretty decent. But, again, let's have a look exactly what you get for the Pesticide Planter. You're going to get Neon Berries and Bitter Berries, right, guys? So, if we have a look at my stats, let's see. Let's go through this again. Uh, you know, it's a great planter, but I've got 22,000 bitter berries, guys. I don't need any. I don't need any neon berries either. I've got way too many of those. I've got to craft things. That's what I need to do. So the only other thing I'll probably want to get in this shop is this one. And this one actually is like 100 trillion honey. So, yeah, it is obviously the most OP. That's obviously the goal here is to get that. And if we have a look... Uh, it's going to give all of the above and more. So, yeah, everything, guys. It's going to give everything from this one planter of plenty. So, yeah, the hot tip is, yeah, definitely aim for this. But 100 trillion is quite a lot. So you've got to keep that in mind as well. Anyway, guys, look, see if you can uh, get onto Rosie B, Ms. Rosie B. Just because I'm not doing the live stream, it doesn't mean to say I'm not going to keep playing today. Uh, maybe you can get into her server and I can jump in if there's a spare spot and maybe I can help you guys out. Normally she lets people stay as friends until they've at least had a turn in her server and uh, had a chance to play. And I'll see if I can help you guys out or where I can help you out wherever possible. But look out for my videos, guys. Yes, if you haven't subscribed, that would be appreciated. I am trying to get to 100,000. I actually want to become a Roblox star creator. That is my goal. I can only do that if I reach 100,000. Plus, I need lots of people to watch my videos. So that is the only problem, guys, is trying to get enough actual views in my videos for them to say that I'm actually worthy of being a star creator as Roblox. That would be amazing. And then I can have my own UGC items. Oh, everything will be amazing. Everything is awesome. Oh, hopefully I get copyrighted for that. Uh, then you get a star code. Uh, waiting patient. Yes, I will get a star code. And that would be great too. I'm not doing it for the star code. I'm going to be doing it just to get the UGC, to be honest. That's really what I want to do. Anyway, guys, that's all i got time for today. It looks like we've got a, a meteor shower happening. See if you can get uh, friends with me, uh, Ms. Rosie B and play in her server. I will try to pop in as often as I can. I've got lots of videos to make, guys, lots of videos. So please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, it's bye for now.